Welcome to your market update charts of the day for Monday, the 22nd of April. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's start by having a look at what's coming across the newswise. Of course, we saw a mixed session in the US on Friday. The Dow performing and closing positively along with the Russell 2000. In tech, look, we pulled the rest of the market down. We saw a sixth straight day of losses for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and a 5% pullback on the latter with a 7% pullback on the NASDAQ. So we're now sort of approaching or eyeing correction territory, pulled down essentially by issues with the Fed and stubborn inflation. Of course, the Middle East situation hasn't helped. Earnings are in focus this week, and we've had a mixed bag, but generally positive so far in early doors, but we really ramp up during the course of this and next week. Companies like Google, and Tesla reporting in the next couple of days. So it should be interesting to see what that results in, in terms of market sentiment. US futures are higher in Asian trading today and Asian markets have bounced higher and ignored that weak US lead from Friday. So possibly a bit of risk off the table uh, in light of the weekend and the potential at least escalation. Uh, and that hasn't happened. So we're getting buying come back in today. All Asian markets to the upside. ASX is up around about 1.3%. And European futures also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. US dollar index slightly lower. And what that means is the gold is edged to a record close on Friday. Pretty neutral today in Asia. Copper continues to be very bullish. It's now at two-year highs almost over that key 450 technical level. And oil is just about holding on to support, although again looks weaker today in Asia. Bitcoin looks okay today, it held February levels and bounced back over 65,000 on Friday. So it looks as though that support has been honored once again. We could see a move back up to test record highs around about 73, uh, but early in the week to call that at this stage. Apart from earnings, we have got some significant data out this week. Although it is a quiet day today, we got the People's Bank of China holding interest rates as expected. Global PMI tomorrow is going to be important in terms of the general state of the economy, as is US GDP. But it's that PCE data out of the US on Friday, the year on year number, is going to be the major headline out from a data point of view. A couple of charts that caught our eye today Mesa Blast, ticker code MSB on the ASX, looked really interesting. We had this. FDA approval uh, jump that we saw a couple of weeks ago. Then we had a retracement back to this level at around about 79 and a half cents. Uh, since then, we've seen some buying coming back in. And so we're looking at 80 cents as a potential interesting price level uh, and a drift back up towards the highs that we hit uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that's certainly one to keep on your radar, but one worth being patient for. If we look at the Aussie yen, we saw some really strong price action in all of the Australian dollar crosses earlier in the day. Just a little bit of a pullback on this pair, back from this R1 level at 99.82. There's a potential of 60 pip move to the upside uh, to the R2 level. But we may get a pause around about this 120 uh, level. So possible 40 pips in the first instance with the potential add-on of another 20 or so if we get some buying back in. This may be just a profit-taking retracement. So interesting to keep an eye on this in the next few hours. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.